World leaders, policymakers, and delegates from nearly 200 countries gathered at the COP27 UN Climate Summit in Egypt with a common objective to keep alive a goal to avert the worst impacts of climate change. This year's summit comes amid the backdrop of rising energy prices accelerated by Russia's war in Ukraine, leading many governments to prioritize supply over the transition to cleaner energy. French President Emmanuel Macron took center stage, saying climate commitments should not be sacrificed in the wake of recent events. We will not sacrifice our climate commitments under Russia's energy threats. All the commitments made by countries should continue. It's a strategy that will depend a lot on energy sobriety, on the accelerated development of renewables and on solutions that allow us to sustainably get past fossil fuels and to accelerate nuclear. One of the key focus points of the summit has been reparations for poorer states disproportionately affected by climate change. We have to phase out our coal economies which is at the heart of the European strategy that concerns the richest countries. But we also have to help emerging countries to do so as fast as possible. This is a key point if we want to achieve this entire strategy and the Paris Agreement. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres struck an equally urgent tone, reminding leaders they face a stark choice. Work together now to cut emissions or face a climate catastrophe. Global temperatures keep rising. And our planet is fast approaching tipping points that will make climate chaos irreversible. Humanity has a choice, cooperate or perish. It is either a climate solidarity pact or a collective suicide pact. Leaders of China and India, both among the largest emitters, are expected to snub the talks. The leader of the top polluting country, US President Joe Biden, is set to arrive in the coming days.